You're too close, okay? You are too close. Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a foundation review slash first impression slash wear test slash whatever the heck this is, okay? But I literally just ran to Sephora. This is so not like me. I be getting stuff, but for me to get it the same day and record, who am I? So I got the Makeup by Mario foundation, which I believe came out yesterday or sometime this week, um, but it was available at my store as of today or yesterday um it doesn't matter anyway so i like makeup by mario i like the brand he's had hits so far there's one product that i am not fond of and we will talk about it later but overall like everything that i bought from him i love and chef's kiss so this foundation is let me read it this is new to me so i know nothing about it this claims to be a natural finish long wearing medium coverage and hydrating and I see that it has like a luminous finish. Um, and that's all I know about it. We know Makeup by Mario does amazing makeup. So I have no doubt that he has formulated a amazing foundation. So we're just going to get into this. My skincare is already done. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And we're going to come back and do the face. Okay. Okay. So my brows are done. And I got the shade... I thought it was 230, y'all. It's 23.0, which is described as a medium dark with cool undertones, which it's not really giving me cool undertones. I thought this one was warm because also 22C is described as a medium dark with cool undertones. And that one did look a little bit on the cooler pinker side. This does not look cool to me. Does this look cool to y'all? It does not look cool to me. Um, I normally get something with warm undertones, but it's looking like he has a lot of warm I mean a lot of neutral and cool undertones especially in the dark area maybe they're listed incorrectly I don't know like I said my skincare is already done so I'm gonna go in with a primer I'm gonna use my elf putty primer it's just a safe primer for me um it gives me that really smooth look and a lot of my primers are already very luminous and seeing that this is a luminous foundation I don't want to like overdo it without just like trying it first so i'm just gonna do this this is just gonna give me a um very smooth finish and it helps my makeup last throughout the day too so so i'm just gonna shake this up and i really like the packaging it's very sleek you know and i'm gonna Start with two pumps. The first one was a little squirt. So we're gonna start with two pumps and I'm using my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just gonna, you know, do my thing. All right, so let's see. So you guys know I like to just apply my foundation all over. Okay, so off the bat, it has that like foundation-y kind of smell which I do not like guys like that will make me not want to wear a foundation but that's just ooh, ooh that's just my first reaction to that <laughs> so I like to kind of apply my foundation like that first and then go in with the setting spray so I'm going to use my morphe continuous spray and spray that all over this helps with the blendability of the foundation and as well as the longevity so once I've applied my foundation now I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm gonna be doing patting motions like this so just pat pat this does not look cool to me this definitely looks like a warm foundation I think I need to relabel that <laughs> I don't know but this is giving warm maybe neutral maybe neutral but definitely not cool Wow, I, first of all, excuse my breakouts right here, but y'all, the way my face looks right now, stunning, like, whoa, 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 I love the finish of this, this is not going to be for everybody, a lot of people are into that mattifying look, because a lot of you guys assume that matte means that it's going to last longer that's not always the case it's all about your application but that's another story for another day 
but I like this. I feel like this looks really skin-like. It looks very fresh. This is a foundation that, again, I would wear by itself. Sometimes you put on a foundation and it's so overpowering, you need to bring that balance back to your face, the depth, the light, all that. With this, I feel like it still looks my, like myself and I can walk out like this and I don't feel like I look like a naked mole rat. <laughs> I really do like this. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see the skin. But yeah, this is my skin up close, you guys. I think it looks so good. Like, wow. I like the coverage. You can still see my skin peeking through. Like you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation but it's not bad it looks really really good but like it looks really really good my skin looks like glowy from within it's not like greasy it doesn't feel heavy at all it covered my skin like my hyperpigmentation flawlessly in my opinion like there's still some peeking through but once i add powder and do the rest of my face my face is gonna look stunning like i'm so excited like this looks so freaking good and it's crazy because like two years ago this foundation would have been uh, a no for me, but now I'm just like obsessed. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular face routine using the products I normally use. And I'm gonna use all the Makeup Mario products that I have just to see how they work with that. So check out the description box to see what products I use for this complete look. And just sit back and enjoy. I don't want this video to be super like long and dragged out because I would like to focus on the foundation. Okay, but so far, so good. So I did the rest of my face and it looks so freaking good okay if, if the foundation or whatever product that I am showing you goes with the rest of my face routine welcome to the family okay like my skin looks amazing I'm gonna zoom back in in a second now that it's been set and everything but I'm gonna do my lip um, so I'm just gonna line my lips real quick with this brown liner from Juvia's place I did get a liner from Makeup by Mario, but it was not dark enough. So I wish that he came out with darker lip liners. So you know what I don't get about brands? So like the foundation has like 30 shades, right? So it's a pretty wide range. But like some of the products just don't go with the complexion products. Like you have enough foundations, but you don't have maybe blushes dark enough for everybody or lip liners or bronzers. Like it has to make sense. I just hope that brands take note of that moving forward because if somebody's buying your product and they like one product they're gonna be willing to buy the other products you know what I'm saying so I would just keep that in mind oh and I have to show you guys this other product so this is the product that I told you guys I was so confused about this is so irrelevant to the video but we're here so I'm gonna talk about it so this is the soft sculpt transforming skin perfector and it's a radiant skin powder and it looks like this right it's like this and it's like shimmery it's giving me bronzer vibes but apparently you're supposed to use it all over your face i don't know about this one um let me know how you guys use this if you're out there and you have bought this i really wanted to take it back but i just was like let me hold on to it because sometimes a product re resurfaces after a while and it kind of like serves a purpose later on in life so I just held on to it but I haven't used it since the first time that I tried it because I was like hmm, it's giving very shimmery <laughs> but now I'm going to use the um I just took it out the box I'm going to use the moisture glow plumping lip serum 
balm and it's like a lip balm but when you put it on it goes on like a gloss and it like plumps your lips and it's so juicy this is in the shade bear glow and you guys see i have nothing else on my lip but liner i just feel like i wanted that like line look today but you just put it on like this look at that it's like a gloss i feel like people are not talking about this enough it's like kind of messy so you gotta be careful don't like twist it up all the way uh just you know use a little bit at a time do you guys see how it looks after you use it it just gets like really really messy um because it's such a like creamy product which i love the formula the packaging just wasn't for this but look at my lips and it gives it that little tingle but not too much okay guys we have zoomed in again and this is the completed face you guys saw my face up close earlier with just the foundation no powder no highlight contour or any of that but i did go ahead and do the rest of my face so i pretty much did my regular face routine um i do like makeup by mario's products so i incorporated the ones that i had i will list everything below if you're interested in recreating this whole look but i highly suggest if you're going to be trying a new product just incorporate it in your current routine when you try too many new things at once that's when things go left and we're trying to go right okay so um that's pretty much what i did i was familiar with every product that i use today except the foundation so i feel like the end result was amazing i love it and i will definitely be keeping this foundation in my collection the color match is perfect i love the finish of it it doesn't feel heavy on the skin that little smell i talked about it went away um but it looks so good like i feel like a goddess <laughs> that's the best way to describe it like my skin just looks so good and this is my skin up close no filter no nothing you guys know i can't filter this this is raw um well maybe you can i'm just not there in life yet but <laughs> it just looks so good so like i said some of my skin is still peeking through but that does not bother me it gives it a more realistic feel you know like i don't mind my skin peeking through i'm not perfect so I have hyperpigmentation you're gonna see it but for the most part everything else is pretty much covered up and it looks flawless so at first glance it's flawless if you even see my spots peeking through you're too close okay you are too close so um yeah i really like i can't stop looking at myself like i really like it like personally this year i haven't really been into foundations the only foundation i really really liked this year was the house labs um i stuck to my fenty um and i was using my chanel water tint a lot like i just like something lighter i still look my, like myself my skin is still feeling nice and fresh this is definitely up there so th this we're going out 2022 with a bang honey because wow it looks so good so yeah one more look for those who are interested i think you should definitely try it okay yeah okay so this completes today's foundation review slash demo slash first impression slash whatever the heck you want to call it um i give this foundation a 10 out of 10 a 10 out of 10 for now um i'm gonna do a little wear test so if i come back with a different wig do not be alarmed it is the same day i just got some things to do so i might have to do a wig switch but as of now i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 i'm pretty sure my face is gonna last simply because of the products that i use and typically my face lasts all day and i don't mind a little do a little glow so that's not considered oily to me unless your face is literally sliding off so um i might check back in later if i do not check the description box I will be updating you guys on how long the foundation wore. So make sure you guys check the description box for all the products that I used in today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. This was fun for me. I really enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Excuse the wig change. Like I told you guys, I had a video that I had to do. So that's why I have a different wig on. But um, as promised, I'm doing a wear test check-in. I did my makeup at about 12. I should have showed you guys earlier. And it is now... 503 so we're at about five hours with the makeup on mind you i've like done a few dishes straightened up my house a little bit changed my wig and now i'm taking my makeup off because it's been a long day and i'm tired okay as you can see the sun's about to set so yeah this is how the face looks after five hours i personally am checking in now i know you guys would love to see like a 12 hour type of wear but i typically don't wear makeup 
for more than like five, six hours anyway, because I wear it when I go out. I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis where I'm having makeup on for like 12, 14, 15 hours. If it was a long day like that, I would have showed you guys, but it simply is not. So this is how it looks. I told you guys I have normal skin, so I don't get oily. My makeup doesn't separate. It doesn't do anything like that. So that's pretty much it. All I did was um, reapply my lip a little bit. Where is it at? I just put it on a little bit, no more lip liner or anything. And that was it. So let me know what you guys think. I think it still looks really good. And I actually like my makeup when it's like settled a little bit because it just looks a little bit more skin-like, a little bit more realistic. So let me know what you guys think of this foundation. Let me know if you're going to get it, if you've got it, your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.